funky. Hello everybody, it's Vivian. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a video star edit. Now, video star is an app where you can make video edits, photo edits, just edits in general, and it is on mobile. And I normally use After Effects, but I'm just going to do a tutorial. I used to use video star, and I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial, a uh, basic from the very beginning, how to make cool video edits using your phone. So let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to do is open Instagram. That is where you're going to get the photos that you want for the edit. So for Video Star, all you have to do to use um, photos and get them all together is literally just screenshot it. So I'm going to just screenshot a couple photos um, that I have here. Just screenshot them. The next thing that you're going to want to do after you screenshot those photos is go get an audio. Like there's accounts on Instagram that like have specifically like specifically make audios like right here that I follow. Um, sorry if my Wi-Fi is a little slow. Like audio stuff right here. But I actually have a saved category that I have for audios if it'll load. Um, so yeah, right here I have audios. And so I go through these and to save them, you can just screen record them in the video star app i have a bunch of them that i need to delete but this is it when you open it i put it to the side just because it's easier anyways so on the right side you have the plus sign that is where you want to go when making an edit on right when it pops up you have the format if you want it long ways if you want it square i'm just going to do it square just because i use photos and instead of you're not going to do select song you're actually going to edit video and so the video that i saved um and it's cropped weird because the video was longer, but I'm just going to, you know, find what, how much of the edit I want to actually use. So I'm just going to use all of it. And so you can, you know, play it, see which one you like good. You can play it, see which one, like where you want to stop it. Um, and then this little button right here decides where you want it to like set end. So then after that, you're just going to make video and it's just going to process and it's just going to be the audio. So now that it's open, the next thing you want to do is split the clips where the beat drops, where you want those transitions to go. So I have it here. I'm just going to look at where the creator of this original video split it. So I'm just going to, to do that. You're going to go to edit and then quick split right here. Edit, quick split, split on the right side, split, split. And there you go. You have a split clip and then I'm going to do it again. Just really random where you want it to edit quick split 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 there you go there you have it split ready to import your pictures now that the clips are split you're going to import the photos all you have to do is go to the right where it says new import photo recents i'm just going to choose this one right here and you can use your fingers to just zoom in you know where you want it cropped you can have it all the way out all the way in i'm just going to crop it like this don't want to have those lines and there's more specific ways to do that but you can learn those later than import and there it is, it's in there. So now I'm gonna add another one, another photo. Just add this one. Okay, crop it. And boom, there you go. You have your two photos in there. Now that you have the two photos, you're going to want to do a transition. Now people use QR codes, meaning that they other people have done transitions and they're able to screenshot it and do it. But I'm going to teach you a tutorial on how not to do that because in my opinion, in order to improve, I think that you should learn the editing and how to do it yourself. I mean, QR codes are a good way to learn, but in this tutorial, I'm going to do transitions so you can really learn the steps to editing. What you're going to do is go to new again, and you're going to click multi-layer. It's right here, multi-layer. So now it's just a blank slate and it has layers with the numbers on the side. You're going to click the one and then the photo that you had. You don't want to click the first one because that's the audio. You want to click the photo. So here you have the photo to work with. And now this is where the keyframes start and the confusing graphing things. So I'm going to edit keyframes. Keyframes is just like where you want the transition to go. So I guess for this transition, I'm just going to do a rotation maybe. Um, so it might look a little bit confusing and be like, what do these buttons mean? But I promise you it gets better and it gets easier. So actually the first thing on the right side where it says mirror, you're just going to click that. You, I don't really get, know anyone's fine. I'm just going to click this one on the left. So what that's going to do is when you have the transition, it's not going to make the background black. It's going to make the picture have these motion tiles. Um, so you have the edit keyframe. So I'm just going to do a rotation. Um, for rotation, I'm going to go all the way to the end because we want the clip to be rotated. Now, right here at the bottom is the rotation. 
okay so see how it goes this way and you drag it with your finger there's also these arrows that allow you to do it other ways so that this one will rotate this way and then this one would rotate you to the side but I'm gonna exit that out and I'm just gonna do a basic rotation so I'm gonna just drag it to where I want I'm gonna do about you can do I'd say 40 45 everything's different anything's based on what you think and so you see this straight line right there I'm gonna click that and this is the graph this is like how slow and how fast a transition is gonna go so each graph is different and there's a lot and it might be overwhelming but these are the graphs that I stick to so the left is where the side of the graph the very far left is the the graphs that I choose at the first part of a transition so like the beginning the right side of the graph over here is where the end of the transition and because it's the beginning we're gonna go on the left so I'm gonna pick so there's the straight line I'm gonna pick this graph right here okay so it's gonna go there you go the clip is a little long so you can do it where you want the transition to start so right now it's having the transition go the entire clip I'm just gonna start the transition you know make it a little faster and I'm gonna bring the rotation all the way back to zero so we have zero all the way to 45 so it's gonna be a little faster so here we go this is what it's gonna look like even though even though that looks really good we want there to we want it to be even smoother we want to add the smooth effect so right we're gonna exit out of the keyframes thing like I just did and instead of we're gonna go to we're gonna go to blur so motion blur or actually no spin blur so here we go this is a rotation transition so th these blurs are what's gonna help each transition become super smooth so see how it's the whole clip you don't want it to be like that so you're gonna do the tracking blur and it'll just follow the clip so it got blurry right when the transition started and then boom there you have it right there perfect that is the first transition that you have. Ready, and boom, there you go. So now it's time for the second clip. So it's basically the same thing, multi-layer, one, click your photo, mirror on the right side, click this first one, it really doesn't matter, I'm just gonna do this one, it's just with your preferences. Click the one, edit the keyframes, and now the rotation that we did was 45, so we're gonna go the opposite way, so. Okay, and then where we want it to we might want to end a little bit fast because the clips a little slow So I'm just gonna drag it to zero zero from 45 So I'm gonna go to the end and this is where I'm gonna change the graph So like I said the graph over on the left side is the first transitions and the graph on this it on the right side is the ending so I'm gonna choose this graph because it's the opposite of the one we chose for the first part There we go. So now it's gonna have a fast ending There you go there is your ending but then you have to add the blur so i'm just going to search it um and then we're going to go to tracking blur there's other blurs that you can do just to once you get more experience and you really understand what's going on but it's going to track the transition you know make it smooth and then there it is create done and there is your first transition and you did it all by yourself without other people's help Except, except my help, but it's okay. Next transition that I'm going to teach you is a slide down transition. It's still very similar to the same process of the rotation, only this time it's just going to a downwards motion. So I'm gonna keep the motion tile, the mirror tiles on this clip. Um, so just like the first steps, and if I'm going a little too fast, I will definitely answer some questions in the description if you guys want it so you're gonna edit the keyframes again and this is why the motion tile is important because I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna drag the clip as straight as possible straighten it out now it doesn't matter how far you go but I'm just gonna go about here it's kind of just what you want and then you're gonna bring this back but once again it's really slow and it's the whole time and we don't want that so we're gonna go just to make it fast I'm gonna bring the clip back up to where the first dot is so it's straightened out as much as I can right there okay so it goes down then we're gonna go over here to path the first graph because it's going down and there we go it's really fast but now we need the smoothness and we're gonna search the motion blur but it's actually hold on. tracking blur so see how I made it so much slower so we have this part 
and there we go. We have that smooth transition. Now there's many other ways people can do this. There's like smoothness and everything just depends on you. So here's what it looks like all together. So there's the first part of the slide transition. Now we have the second clip and it's the same ordeal, multi-layer. You get in a routine the more you do it. And the mirror, we do this one, edit keyframes. Now instead of going down, we're gonna bring the clip up the opposite, about here. I don't know, just kind of what you think. And then I'm just gonna end it kind of randomly back as straight as I can get it right there. Okay, so. It's a little bit to the side, so I'm going to move it. There we go. So, then we have the, the path. I'm going to put that right there. And it's on the right side. So here's the ending. So there it is, nice and quick and fast. Then we go add the blur. And there it is. There is the second part. Preview. So now this is what this transition would look like. There's your second clip on Video Star. So that is my tutorial beginner's guide on transitions and just a quick way. I know they're a little choppy. I also haven't used Video Star in a while, but I just thought I would give you guys a quick just glance into the app and there's so many other features that it does. So I definitely suggest checking those out and there's other tutorials out there, but I just hope that I got the basics down for you to just understand what each button does. That's important to make a video edit on Instagram. If you liked this video, uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye.